What's up, y'all? Sparta here. So I want to make another video on the battery life on the LG B60. And this is coming from me pushing it very, very heavily. Well, not, I wouldn't say very heavily, but quite heavily, <laughs> in fact. So, and this is both in and out the dual screen case. So let's talk about this yet again. So... In my initial video, I said that you get four and a half hours or five hours of screen on time in the dual screen case, and you get like eight to maybe eight and a half out the dual screen case. Now, that still holds true, but it totally depends on how you use the phone in and out the dual screen case. Say you're emulating games or something like that which I will have a video on that coming soon as well. I just want to test a little bit more things out with that. But say you're emulating on your phone, that probably won't tax your phone much in terms of battery life. Even when you have the haptics on and you're using the um, main display as the uh, controller on the dual screen, <laughs> on the dual screen, in dual screen mode and stuff like that, it most likely won't do much to your battery. Because you're probably emulating stuff like N64 games, PS1, maybe even Dreamcast, etc., etc. I do PSP and DS games, so we'll see what the we'll see what that entails of in say the next video or two. But or not the next video or two, then the next week. So we'll see how that goes. Um. So yeah. Let's go. Let's get into this. I need to do more testing in terms of battery life when it comes to like listening to music. I want to do that. But since my Note 10 is kind of unreliable right now, I am just using my V60 as my main phone. So I can't just leave it, he leave it here and have it plugged into say my Sennheiser HD 650s for a whole night while I work, come back and then see how much battery life I have left. Which, you know, kind of sucks, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about this. And if you guys see in the thumbnail, I do have the uh, <laughs> screen on time. My, my my three screen on times that I've gotten over the past, like, what, week? And I basically just put them in the thumbnail. <laughs> and... I'll show you guys screenshots of what this looks like. Okay, so let me go to... I don't remember this one. Like, let, let me actually... Let me actually see what day this was. Oh. Oh, okay. This was the day where I did the... um. Let, let me... This is the day where I did the, uh, um, the, um, camera, the camera test shoot. And I was also, I took it off the charger. I was playing, I was doing some minor gaming. I was watching a lot of YouTube and then I went out and I decided to, uh, and I decided to. Crap, I don't know why I'm blanking on this. Go out and finally do my um, camera layout video and show you guys what it looks like, what what it looks like and stuff like that and how it'll operate in certain situations and stuff like that. And I downloaded PowerDirector, I edited, and I probably recorded like three, four different videos. <laughs> I tried to edit a video together, but I just didn't like how it looked. Or how it sounded or how it came out. So I just recorded yet another video and then just put that out. <laughs> all being on five, all being on 5G, no Wi Fi. So that should also tax the battery a pretty good amount. So I got six hours and 41 minutes of screen on time. It was 850. Sorry, I gotta do manual focus here. It was 8.50 at night. I was on 9%, as you guys can see there. Actually, I'll just focus on auto. I'll just have auto do it. And I got a lot of screen on time out of that. Then, 
the next day, I played a lot of, this is where I was doing my do. It wasn't even the next day, actually. It was like, let me double check. Let's see, April 21st. It was two days. It was three day. It was three days later, early in the morning. I uh, decided to try this here, and I put on the dual screen case. I was watching YouTube on the top on the top display and on the main display. I was playing games. The two games I were playing, I was playing Lineage Two. And King of Fighters All Star. Now, these are pretty demanding games. They're not necessarily like I wouldn't. They're not graphics intensive, but they put a lot of. Well, Lineage Two is pretty graphic intensive. It's actually pretty detailed. But King of Fighters All Star is just. I put it. I put it through like the. I was just auto grinding. Put it on the hardest difficulty that allowed you to just use all your energy. And I put it up to nine. I think I put it up to 99. And it got up. I think it got up to like 80 or 82 or something like that. And that's when the phone got to like 60. And then I decided, you know what? Why not? And that's when it started to actually slow down a bit. That's actually an issue with that game. I noticed is that on pretty much every phone I did it on is that it would slow down after a certain point <laughs> and you basically would just have to stop playing the game for a little bit. And that's fine. It makes sense. And then, um, lineage two, I played them for basically the same amount of time, 147, 149. And I was having YouTube up for that same amount of time, 339, 3 hours and 39 minutes. <laughs> And I got four hours, 46 of screen on time. I got to 3%. Now, the thing to know with the dual screen case, when it hits below 15% or when it hits 15%, it'll shut off. You'll no longer be able to use it because you'll need more battery life. And that makes sense <laughs> since it basically takes half your battery life. It totally makes sense that it will just be like, okay, at this certain point, it'll just shut off. It'll stay on when you still have it, um, if you still have it deployed and you're still using it. But the moment you close it or you flip it to the other side, it'll shut off and say, charge the phone more if you want to use it. And that's what you do. Okay. So four hours and 46 minutes, almost five hours of screen on time. That's admirable. That's very good for what I was doing. And that's honestly, one of the things I was actually excited to do with this phone is use it for almost use it for an elongated amount of time watching YouTube and playing a game. And this these are the numbers I'm actually excited about. So let's go to yesterday. I wasn't feeling that great. I came home from work at like 11. My phone was on like 98 or something like that. And. I got home. Now, nah, let me do the full rundown. I left for work at like, what, 740? It was on 100. I got to work an hour and 40 minutes later. It was still at 100. I started listening to podcasts. It dropped 2%. I didn't feel good after throwing the first truck. I left. It was on like 90. It was still on 98. Then I started using the phone a little bit more, 97, 96. And by the time I got home, it was on like 94. Um, then I just got back here and what I did was I decided to download, since, you know, Final Fantasy seven is one of the games that are, that's like the hot, the hot stuff right now. I decided, you know what? I'm going to get back into the Dissidia mobile game. I like Dissidia was one of the first games I had on the PSP. So I was like, why not? Right. <laughs> why not get back into the mobile game? It was actually pretty fun. And I decided to download all of it, three gigs <laughs> on a 5G network that has a 886 MB fast connection. It's a five gigahertz network. 
And it took a bit. <laughs> it, took, it took at least like, oh wait, that's not all I did though. I came back, I watched like a live stream of like, some gadget guy in um TK Bay they were talking about the uh, iPhone SE 2020. I watched that for a couple hours until it ended. Then I started to say, you know what? I'm going to do this. Then I, <laughs> I think I played a couple games too. I don't really remember. It was either that or I was using my uh, G8. I don't remember. But um yeah, I did that. Then I um just decided to download Dissidia, Opera, Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia on mobile. And I, it was like 3.6 gigs or something like that. And it, it took a couple hours. And by the time I was done, it was on like five hours. Then I decided to just watch YouTube videos for like a couple more hours. And I probably fell asleep while it was doing it. So it got to nine hours and nine minutes of screen on time. Now, at this point in time, it was at 19%. So I probably could have eked out. I definitely could have eked out at least another hour of watching YouTube videos. <laughs> and it would definitely, it would definitely still have at least like 10 to like 8% left at that point. So <sighs> enough with that. Let's talk about this. Okay. The, these numbers <laughs> are something that I've never really seen in a phone before. Sure, you've had these, you can have, you in like the G3, like even like the LG G3 when I had it and I got that like, what, 8,000 milliamp hour battery, zero lemon case or whatever. It would get like maybe four to five hours of screen on time, right? Pretty good numbers for like 20, what, 15? <laughs> 2014, 2015, 1080p display, 60 hertz. Let me actually raise this back up so it's brighter. 1080p, 60 hertz. A very smooth user experience from what I'm getting, what I'm getting, right? I'm using good Wi Fi. 5G is fast. I don't use it nearly as much because I have Google Fi, but when I need it, it's fast and it's reliable, right? Um, I play a lot of games, and I will talk about this more in the gaming section. But this phone stays cool, dude. Like it does it. It doesn't heat. It doesn't get hot. <laughs> Even when it was in the dual screen case while doing what I was doing, it was like it was getting warm, but it wasn't like. It was at like 55 degrees at most. And it was like, dude, this phone is a monster. <laughs> I said that in the last video, and I stand by that. This phone is a monster. It stays on for a very long time. In fact, like the only, the only issue I would say is that it doesn't charge as fast as say the Note 10 when my Note 10 would charge. <laughs> the Note 10 sometimes would be like, okay, oh, you're at 10% an hour and 10 minutes. This takes an hour and 40, but this is also a bigger battery. And I do wish hopefully LG decides to go for f even like an even higher wattage of fast charging next time around. Because that, that'll make this phone, a, that'll make the next phone they make a beast. <laughs> and it's just great. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say with this. I don't want to make this a fucking half hour video. So this is part of the thing. Guys, watch Name Support. Hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday, whatever time of day it is your area. Have a good one.